Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are here to do a karmic twin flame or soulmate reading to see where your energy is. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, rare hearts if you made it through, purple hearts if it resonates, green hearts if you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you rock with me, got my six, me to have my back because I have yours. Now, um, perfectly, perfectly imperfect came out and that reminds me of, um, what is his name? Uh, Kevin Gates' song, uh, Perfect Imperfe Imperfection. Uh, we have lessons and we have Twin Flame. So, you know, Twin Flame Energies is here to teach you a lesson. Everybody isn't perfect, but it says, the love you have for them allows you to accept their flaws and accept them for exactly as they are without trying to change them. Now, unsure Twin Flame Energy comes out you have met your twin flame and even though it will be challenging it can create a profound and life-altering sense of wholeness and the lessons are here you have agreed with the others with the other soul that uh excuse me you have agreed with the other soul to have and provide valuable life lessons for each other in this lifetime find the lessons within the connection so breakthrough so the breakthrough is your connection is going through a big transformation that will elevate you to the next level. Believe in miracles. So somewhere, somehow, climax is underneath there. But some way, somehow, you have to realize either this is the perfect situation or this perfect person, accept this person for who they are, or you're going to have a long um, few years until you learn this lesson. And so I say that no man is your enemy. No man is your friend. Every man is your teacher. You got to bless every situation as success. And you also have to send strength and healing to a person, place, thing, or situation, period, no matter the outcome. And that's the lessons that you have to learn because no man is your enemy. No man is your friend. Every man is your teacher. This person, place, thing, or situation, Twin Flames, was here to teach you a lesson, a lesson of strength, a lesson of um, how strong you are, the, the will that you are going to, or the might or the strength that you have to have in order to deal with and move forward in a situation that you feel like is running you ragged. And so those are the twin flame lessons that we have to understand. Now, every twin flame is not going to, or every person you, you feel is your twin flame because you guys have some type of synchronicity is not your twin flame, but that's for you to figure out. It's not for me to tell you, but you know, the thing is, is take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Um, perfect imperfections, you have to you know accept this person as they are and sometimes that's hard without taking things personally now the reason why i give my reads the way i do is because i really don't want to dwell on the past i want to learn from the past but i also want you to understand how you felt in the past in order to be in the present moment and to know that the future won't be the same way the past was you won't keep repeating the same patterns even though it's easier said than done right i speak from experience so uh, perfect imperfections um and that's kevin gates song these cards came out yeah okay so the three of cups and the ten of cups energy this is what you want you want to work with a person as a cohesive unit you want to have a happy life happy wife ten of cups energy so the three of cups energy just lets you know that you know celebration friends creativity and collaboration you want to collaborate with this person who you feel like is very imperfect but you see potential in them, but they don't see the same thing in in them that you see in them. So you're always um, uh, bigging them up. You're always, you know, supporting them no matter how much they say, what they what they do, how you think they feel because you saw potential in this person. And seeing potential in a twin flame energy that's here to teach you a lesson is the hardest thing that you can do. So you have to learn to accept them for who they are, and you have to decide if that is something that you're willing to deal with moving forward, if that makes sense. And so I'll clarify the perfect imperfection because who are you dealing with? We have water energy on the board, and we have five of wands energy. So, yeah, there's a lot of conflict when it comes to dealing with this person. There's a lot of fight. There is a lot of back and forth there's a lot of arguments there's a lot of things when it comes to this person because again they have to recognize their own strengths it's not up to you to recognize the strengths of this person or to see the potential in them but as cancers we somehow see the best in people as the queen of pentacles energy you know um somebody who will nurture will give their all give their last to a person place thing or a situation 
if we believe in it, if we see potential in it. And so the twin flame energy is what we're going to clarify now. You know, sometimes it's just a point that you have to sit back, look at things and kind of laugh at the pain that you're going through. I'm going to take this card right here because as you see, it's over here and you're unsure. Yeah. With no balance. So a twin flame energy has no balance. You have to create the balance and justice in the reverse. Just let you know that you know what, it's unfair, it's a lack of accountability and sometimes dishonesty when it comes to this twin flame, but are you going to stay there? Are you going to learn from this and how long will it take? We're going to clarify justice in the reverse because, again, you know what, actually I'm going to clarify temperance, no balance. This card tried to come out, I'll look at it. Uh, yeah, the four swords. Um, so basically you have to pull your energy back. Four swords energy just lets you know that sometimes when it gets to a point to where we feel like um, we're uh, being passive or we need to recuperate. We have to pull back our energy and that's where the consequences of our actions come in at when it comes to us learning. But because the justice energy is in the reverse, you have to understand that sometimes doing the right thing isn't easy. So we always do the wrong thing. <laughs> And that's what justice is in the reverse. We're doing the wrong thing because, you know, it's unfair. It's this. And we're trying to get this person to see really who we are. And, you know, that's not the case. They are only seeing what they are seeing. Oh, wait. I didn't even see that turn over. Okay. So, yeah, they're only seeing the things that they want to see. And so we have the moon energy when it clarifies, clarifies doing things, um, doing the wrong things. And the moon energy is because of the fact that, you have to remember how you felt, the overthinking that you did when it came to this twin flame. If you had the strength, the stability, and also the emperor, if you were able to respect yourself in the same energy, and there you go. I didn't even look at that. The chariot is here. So is this emperor energy respecting the chariot, or is the chariot, is it time to move forward when it comes to the chariot being here? You have to keep going no matter if this person respects you or not. And, you know, you can dream all day about this person doing the right thing. But at the end of the, the day, the moon energy says that you have to remember who you are. You have to remember who you are. You have to respect yourself with the emperor coming out in order for you to understand that the chariot, it's time for you to move forward. When things keep you stagnant, when there's no balance and when you feel drained all the time, you have to move forward because of the conflict. You don't want to have conflict with somebody that you love. But they can bring it on. You'll always win at the end when it comes to having the last word. But who wants that with the person that we're trying to uh, love and be with and have a cohesive unit with? But that's the reason why the breakthrough happens because you learn this lesson. You learn this lesson in regards to Twin Flames. You learn that, you know, you have to put yourself first. Um, and they have to learn that once you remove your energy that they have to put you first. And that's the lover's energy part of Gemini doing what makes your heart happy but the lovers also um, tells you to follow your heart so lessons are to follow your heart breakthrough as well as heartbreak three of swords energy is the reason why you have to get to a point to where you're understanding what this is teaching you your connection is going through a big transformation that will elevate you to the next level Mir believe in miracles and so with this lover's energy and this three of swords could be air energy here, but we have a lot of energies on the board. We have Aries, we have air, we have uh, water, we have fire. Um, yeah, and so the thing is, is that you have to get to a point to where you understand what you're going through, what you feel, and how you're going to deal with those energies, you know. And so sometimes it's just a hard thing. The fire is the twin flame energy, and the lovers is here just to let you know that, hey, don't give up on love. You know, start putting that love into yourself, that same energy that you're putting into other people and other situations and everything the conflict that you're having is because you know that people aren't doing the, doing right by you and that means that you have to do right by yourself because you've given so much to all these entities and all these different energies that it's time for you to have the breakthrough uh, especially when it comes to love when it comes to you know emotional pain and having you know just hurting and you know, feeling sorry for yourself. That's where that energy comes out. I want to get another card deck that I haven't used in a minute. Let me see if I can find it. Hold on one second. Okay, so um, I think this is the Love love Tarot, but um, I can't remember. Uh, they stopped selling this, and a lot of people ask me about it, but I want to pull to see what energy you have when it comes to 
a lack of balance and pulling your energy back, resting. Um, yeah. So it says be unexpected when it comes to that. Light up your life with beauty and two of pentacles, you have a decision to make. And so that's how that comes out. And, you know, light up your life with beauty. This is you having health, self-care, you know, taking time to practice self-care and, you know, uh, unexpected might be getting a new dog or, you know, just it could be anything, but you're going to start taking mental breaks for yourself, taking baths and putting lights out, making things pretty the way that makes you feel good in regards to knowing that you're going to have to make a decision that's going to make you feel a little bit lonely at times. And so that is kind of how I see that. We're going to pull for the Three of Cups energy to clarify. The Three of Cups comes with the Eight of Swords, yeah. So when it comes to knowing that this is somebody or something that you're not going to be able to um, be a cohesive unit with, you have to walk away Eight of Swords energy, and it feels so alone. And the Five of Wands is what we're clarifying next. The Five of Wands comes with, yeah, the Five of Wands comes with the Emperor energy. Again, learning to respect yourself, and sometimes the weather's change. It feels like you're strong and everything, but strong being strong sometimes comes with a, a, a respect factor, you know, being strong and making decisions, analytical decisions that you would nom normally not make on a, a regular basis. And so this is you having the authority and having and building a, a solid foundation or, you know, this is you coming to a realization that you have to be your own emperor because if you're dealing with the air, um, uh, it, I was going to say Aries type individual or somebody that has the power and authority that you don't have, you sit in side by side with them. You still have to have, because they're only worried about the power moves. You're worried about the love, the empathy of a situation. And so you're not getting that in this situation. That's why the doing, when it comes to the justice being in the reverse, doing the right thing is sometimes you dreaming about the things that you want, which causes overthinking because you're not happy in regards to this situation. And so the Nine of Swords is causing you anxiety. So guess what? Every time this person comes around, you're like, oh, my God, are they there? Because I'm not ready to deal with that energy. And the Five of Wands, again, comes out with the conflict. Conflict is your, it's like you're picking your battles, if that makes sense. The Five of Wands energy is conflict, but same here. When it comes to perfectly imperfection, you're doing what makes them happy, not necessarily what makes you happy. Five of Wands energy, again, can make you feel like there is some type of comp competition or disagreements that you're having, but you're agreeing to disagree. And so at the same time, somebody's eating takeout and playing video games, which you're trying to be competitive and show them that you have a competitive heart. But at the same time, it's like, what are they doing for you? So your your difference is the opposites attract. But who is it attracting? Is it attracting something that you want or is it attract helping somebody else's needs? And so that's where the Ten of Cups energy is being put to the test at when you realize that these card, two cards, yeah, Six of Wands and the Knight of Wands, Drake energy, you only live once, be bold, be fearless, do what you love. You're not doing what you love, and that's why it's unsure. What is it that you love? You're you're contemplating that. Is it an adventure? Is it something that you want to take action with? Is it causing you to be fearless, or is it causing you anger and feeling reckless? And then the Six of Wands energy is like victory and success, or uh, but or it could be a lack of recognition. You're not getting the rep recognition that you think you deserve when it comes to a love, a life, and a family. And so, therefore, I'll clarify those two cards. You're not getting that. And so since you're not getting that, you're just like, you know what? Four of Swords energy. Again, Four of Swords. Clarifying the Four of Swords, you have to pull your energy back. And you're bored. You reach this plateau. It's time to take care of yourself. And so when it comes to the Emperor and the Twin Flames and also dreaming but overthinking at the same time, have an empathetic energy but also uh, strength, uh, energy of learning to how to how to respect yourself. That's in regards to a twin flame relationship. You have to boom, boom, boom. Yeah, Queen of Cups, pull your empathy back. So the chariot and the empathy, empathetic nature of this situation. You're you're being empathetic for yourself. You're you're nurturing yourself. You're loving yourself. You're you're figuring out your joys, but also 
it causes insecurity and jealousy for you when it comes to dealing with this person that they're not really taking accountability for your needs. You're only doing it for them. Let's clarify the Queen of Cups energy. Yeah, I just believe that. Yeah, yep, yep. Back to the same energy that is right here, the star energy, but we have the sun. Now there's growth. Now you're having fun. You're loving yourself. You're doing things without waiting, again, without waiting for a person to come uh, for swords, without pulling your, your energy back. Now your Three of Cups energy back to this Three of Cups, right? You're finding people who like to do the quirky shit you like to do, the corny stuff that you like to do, the things that they always talk about right here. Instead of them, you know, uh, this person, you're doing it with this person, you're doing it and finding people that want to do the same thing as you want to play dress up, want to go out and experience the world because the Four of Cups comes out again. Well, no, actually it didn't come out. Or did it? Reaching a plateau. The Four of Cups is reaching a plateau. Four of Swords is here. Reaching a plateau, the Four of Cups energy. It's like you've already done this. You, you, you know, you've been empathetic. You feel disconnected now. And so that's why you're finding connections. Ten of Wands, you're realizing the burdens there. Anyway, it goes, you're doing everything on your own when it comes to this situation. And now it's time to end this situation, the tower. Unexpected things happen, but you have to do that. But at the same time, you have to be optimistic. You have to still star energy, um, have faith in a certain situation, whether it be love uh, with this person or with someone else, because you know and you knew that this person was perfectly imper imperfect, a perfect imperfection, uh, like Kevin Gates' song, but you knew this person wasn't perfect, and you saw potential in trying to guide them to be perfect, but what you're doing is you're basically teaching them how to live with you and not to live without you. And that's where the breakthrough happens is once they have to live without you, without your corny, quirky, quirky fun, outgoing type, uh, go with the flow type energy, you realize, they soon realize that the lessons that you were there to teach them while you were around and you remember the lessons that you taught yourself or that they taught you in regards to being by yourself. So you said, I'm going to do what makes my heart happy. And I'm going to have a breakthrough over this heartbreak. And I'm going to clarify the lover's energy. And you see how that card came out. The moon energy. And know how others live. So that's what you're learning. How other people live. You're not waiting on this person to make decisions for you. When it comes to you wanting to dress up. And enjoy yourself as a cohesive unit. And do crazy things that you probably wouldn't normally do with this person. You're learning that. And so they have to learn. That same energy, oh, where is it at? I'm trying to find the one where she was in the park. Oh, right here. Sun, the growth. You're learning how to make yourself happy and do the things. So that's where you meet these like-minded individuals. And it takes for you to go out and to have a breakthrough in order to see different things in life. The moon energy is you're remembering how you felt back then. And that's the lesson that you never want to go back to. And also learning how other people's li how other people live, and so teach yourself to believe. Now you're teaching yourself to believe in you and the things that you want, and not waiting for anything to arise, any type of conflict, or just going with the flow anymore. You're gonna move forward. Was that right here? I think that was right here. No, I said the five of wands. Clarify the five of wands, or was it with the four of swords? I think maybe it was. No, I don't know. Did I clarify the five of wands? Hmm. I don't know if I clarified the five of wands. I think the five of wands was with that, but let's clarify it. Since we have teach yourself to live, to believe, right? I'll go ahead. You know what? I'm going to clarify the five of wands with the break, uh, the messengers of the heart deck. How about that? Instead of rumbling through my decks. Um, yeah. And then I'll pull from the breakup oracle. So let's clarify the five of wands. Overflow. Their heart is in overflow with love. So much, is, so much it scares them because their love for you has no end. And that's the conflict that they're having. Boom. That was a really good thing. And the bottom of the deck is music. Of course, you know we like music. Um, I haven't listened to music on my reads in a minute, and I should be, but... Um, Music brings them closer to you. Certain songs remind them of just how special your connection was to them. And so that is, you taught them a lesson. Again, no man is your enemy, man or woman. No man is your friend. Every man is your teacher. This person, place, thing, or situation. 
was here to teach you a lesson and now they cannot get rid of you. I'm going to pull from the breakup oracle because they're living with you in the 5D while you move uh, in the 3D on your own and do the things that you want to do. So this is the breakup oracle. I'll pull from here and then we're going to go ahead and pull from the four agreements, which I'll put the link up there and also the crystal deck, which focuses on the chakra. And then we're going to let this old energy go. Yeah, I just believe that. Yeah, you forever changed them. Bottom of the deck, grass is greener. I need time to see if there's better romantic options. And you know what? That's why you had to teach yourself to believe and have a breakthrough. And always remember, you forever will change this person or any person that whose life you come in contact with. You changed my life without even trying. The old me is dead and gone. And so that's where the overflow of emotions is with this person that they realize that you're more than just a twin flame. You're everything to them. And so, again, I'm going to pull from the four agreements and then the crystal deck, and we're going to let this energy go. You know, all you got to do, and that's why I say listen to the four agreements, listen to the game of life and how to play it, and also conquer the fifth agreement. If you got you got to understand the four agreements in order to conquer the fifth agreement, and that's the reason why I have them linked up above. And also the uh, game of life and how to play it. The game of life and how to play it is basically – you um i'm sorry the game of life and how to play it is basically you learn in the power of your word and so that is the thing that you have to do is learn the power of your word and go from there and that is that and so um i'm gonna go ahead and uh pull from the crystal deck and then um we're gonna release this old energy sorry i got distracted with my my pretty's baseball uh t-ball picture she says it's not baseball it's t-ball um, with her picture. So the Moonstone, the Moonstone, I think is our card, uh, Cancer's card. And we have, don't take anything personal. So thank everybody. No man is your enemy. No man is your friend. Every man is your teacher. This person, place, thing, or situation was here to teach you a lesson. Become immune to poison. The whole world can gossip about you. And if you don't take it personally, you are immune. Um, immune. Immunity to poison in the middle of hell is the gift of the second agreement. So learn the second agreement. All of them, actually. The Moonstone, Crown, Third Eye, and Sacral Chakra. Goddess energy, energy, inspiration, and intuition. Trust your intuition. I allow myself true inner self. I allow my true inner self to shine through. I allow my true inner self to shine through. And that shine through looks like, oh, wait a minute. The Four of Cups. Did I say the Four of Cups came out? before yeah well i did say the four cups came out i think it was this okay anyway this is how you allow your inner light to shine through is by taking care of yourself and understanding that it's all about you and your emotions and how you feel and you're going to light up your life with beauty and this is a part of it this is what was holding you back not living the way you needed to or the way that you were passionate about so i allow my inner true self to shine through and so that is that and let's let this old energy go i now let go of worn out conditions of lack doubt hate negativity procrastination stagnation sadness generational curses debt bad energies heartbreak bad health and addictions remember addictions can be to a person place thing or a situation i love you guys